Is it possible to simulate an entire universe? What kind of resources and technologies would be required to create such a simulation? Are we living in a simulation or are we real? And if we're in a simulation, who or what would be its creator? What if the entire universe, the stars, galaxies, planets, and even you yourself were nothing more than a complex computer simulation? At first, it sounds like pure science fiction, something straight out of a futuristic movie plot. But this theory has gained massive attention among philosophers, physicists, and countless curious minds across the world. One of the key figures behind this provocative theory is philosopher Nick Bostrom, who in 2003 proposed an argument that has fundamentally shifted how we think about the nature of reality. Bostrom suggests that if a highly advanced civilization were to develop enough computing power, they might decide to run detailed simulations of their ancestors, in other words, of us. And if those simulations were sophisticated enough, the simulated beings wouldn't be able to tell they're part of a virtual world. To them, their experiences would feel just as real as ours do. Bostrom introduced what is now known as the simulation trilemma, a logical puzzle that presents three unsettling possibilities. We destroy ourselves before we are able to create a simulation. We are able to create simulations, but choose not to. We are definitely living in a simulation. According to Bostrom, one of these must be true, and all are equally plausible. Beyond academic circles, the simulation hypothesis has become a pop culture phenomenon. Perhaps the most iconic example is The Matrix, a film where people unknowingly live inside a simulated reality controlled by machines. This idea resonates because it forces us to question, how would we even know if our reality wasn't real? As technology progresses and virtual worlds become more immersive, this question feels less and less theoretical and more like something worth seriously considering. But is it actually possible to simulate an entire universe? And what kind of resources would it take? Today's supercomputers can simulate small parts of the universe, like clusters of galaxies or specific cosmic events. But these simulations are still very limited. Even though technology is advancing rapidly, creating a fully simulated universe would require far more computing power than what we currently have. To simulate an entire universe with all of its galaxies, stars, planets, physical laws, and conscious beings would demand an astronomical amount of computing power far beyond anything humanity currently possesses. It's not just a question of speed or storage. It's about processing an almost infinite level of complexity in real time, accounting for every interaction at both the macroscopic and quantum level. In other words, we are still far from being able to simulate an entire universe. Elon Musk has even stated that even a small improvement in technology could make virtual experiences indistinguishable from reality. If you assume any rate of improvement at all, then games will be indistinguishable from reality. Or civilization will end. One of those two things will occur. But how can we know if we're already living in a simulation or if we are truly real? According to Musk, the probability that we are real and not living in a simulation is extremely low. He argues that the probability of us existing in a base level, non-simulated reality is around one in a billion. It seemed to follow that the odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. And it might sound scary and depressing, but luckily, some researchers offer a slightly more optimistic perspective. For example, Neil deGrasse Tyson has explained that because we ourselves haven't yet created such simulations, the odds are closer to 50-50, meaning there's a 50% chance we're in a simulation, which sounds like a much friendlier possibility compared to Musk's view. So either we, we are, are the, the real one, right? or we're the one in the chain that's still evolving. So the odds of us being a simulation goes from a gazillion to one, 50-50. Wow. And I'm good with that. Ying speculating and calculating the probabilities of us living in a simulation remains mostly philosophical for now, since there's no empirical evidence to support the idea. And when we begin to wonder who or what might have built such a simulation, we don't have a clear or satisfying answer. One of the most popular theories suggests that a highly advanced civilization in the future could have created simulations for purposes like studying history, conducting scientific experiments, or simply for entertainment. But what if we never find out? And does it even matter? What do you think? Are we real?